what is up guys hope you all are doing well this is Tito back with another video and today this is gonna be the full review of the redmi note 5 pro so without further delay let's make it happen so i have been using the redmi note 5 pro since like what 18 17 18 days so i thought this is probably the time that i reviewed the phone and I have been using this Redmi Note 3 from past two years and I was pretty happy. But let's talk about if it's worth the upgrade to Redmi Note 5 Pro. Well, first of all, this is a review, not a spec sheet. So I'm just continuing the review. By the way, it packs up the Snapdragon 636, world's first Snapdragon 636 phone over here and 4GB RAM. And there is one more variant with 6GB RAM. But that variant costs what 70,000 rupees, 3,000 more Indian rupees just for extra 2GB RAM, nothing else. So I feel that's not a good value for money phone. So I feel this is the best value for money phone you can get. So first of all, let's talk about the performance. Well, the performance have been pretty great and I would say it's the best for the price you are paying and you won't get the performance like this anywhere else. And if I had to compare the performance with the Redmi Note 3, then I would say the Redmi Note 5 Pro is almost 30 to 40 percent better in performance. There are no lags or stutters that I feel, and it's pretty smooth. MIUI is running pretty fine over here, but I hit MIUI. You guys know that. <laughs> Except for that, everything is working super fine, so no issues with that. And even with the 4GB RAM variant over here, I am using. The RAM management has been pretty good. Yes, it might not be as good as the 6GB RAM variant, of course, but this one over here is not at all bad in RAM management. So there you have it. So now let me talk about the most popular part of this phone, the cameras. To the rear, we have the 12 plus 5 megapixel camera setup with a dual LED flash. And to the front, we have the 20 megapixel front facing shooter with a LED flash, which is kind of a horse thing. This doesn't work like this flash. It just stays on while you are taking a picture. So that's that. And I gotta say the cameras of this phone are amazing. Here are some samples compared to the Redmi Note 3's GC Mod 5. This is a normal selfie taken with both phones without portrait mode. On Redmi Note 3, I was using Google camera and on the Redmi Note 5 Pro, I was using stock camera app of MIUI. This is a portrait selfie from both phones. Note that I was holding both phones at same distance. The huge crop on Redmi Note 3 is because of GC Mod 5 portrait. And as you can see, Redmi Note 5 Pro selfie is simply much better and wide. If I take the Redmi Note 5 Pro a little closer to match the Redmi Note 3's aspect of the portrait picture, it looks like this. Here is one more example. If you want to check the full camera review, here is a card for you. And I gotta say, electronic image stabilization is just amazing over here. But I feel the videos taken with the rear camera is a little bit less sharper. And what's the most disappointing thing about the video recording? Well, I would say it still shoots 1080p with the rear camera and the front facing camera as well. It's 2018. This guy has a 636. Why not throw 4K recording support with this guy? So it may happen in the future with software updates, but as of now, it doesn't shoot 4K videos with the stock camera. And yeah, it does shoot portrait mode selfies and portrait mode pictures with front and rear both cameras. So no issues regarding that. And yeah, it has a 4000 mAh battery and with the cryo cores of Snapdragon 636, I gotta say it's really really efficient. Like you can really get a day or even two days of battery life with this guy. Because I got like screen on time of 7 to 8 hours easily. And with that I remember I played like 15 minutes of PUBG. And yeah, I did play PUBG with this phone. And the temperature was getting like what, 40 to 42 degrees Celsius. The back side of the phone was reaching a little bit hotter. So we can't help it because the back side of this phone is aluminium. So metal can get hot very easily. 
I was talking about the battery life. Now I'm talking about the gaming. I don't know what I'm doing, but let's do it. So the PUBG gameplay was really good. It's like 20 to 30% better than the Redmi Note 3 experience. I would say it's a little bit stuttery, like when you are shooting a bullet, it's like a 0.5 second delay of shooting the bullet. It's like the ping thing of gaming. If you guys gamed a lot, you will know what I'm talking about. But do note that sometimes the lag happens, but most of the times the game plays quite smoothly. So that's that. So conclusion, what does it cost? 14,000 rupees and flash shell. Well, I got it like in fifth or sixth flash shell of trying. So that's how it is. You have to try it harder. Well, quick tip for buying Redmi Note 5 Pro. Add it to the cart with flash sale helper or apps like that. I will link it in the description and just try it on the next sale. If you don't get it on that one, just try it on the next sale from the cart and just refresh the cart from what 11.57 am. I mean, at least five minutes ago from the flash sale, just start refreshing the cart and you might be able to place the order. I ordered it that way. So that's that and what I was talking about, well, the conclusion, it does cost 14,000 rupees. It has a very good camera. It has IR blaster. It has very fast fingerprint scanner. Well, here is a demo. As you can see, the Redmi Note 5 Pro's fingerprint scanner is simply much faster if you compare it to the Redmi Note 3. Though I am using Nitrogen OS 8.1 ROM on Redmi Note 3, just for your information. And here is the face unlock speed side by side. As you can tell, Redmi Note 5 Pro is a little faster over here too. Note that the Redmi Note 3 does not have face unlock feature officially. As you can see, the fingerprint scanner of this guy is really really fast. And a headphone jack is present on the bottom over here. I feel the output over here is really good, but I have a problem with the headphone jack. I'll talk about it later. And the micro SD port is over here. And as Geeky Ranjit said, it does support quick charge 2.0, I guess, but not all quick chargers support it. So I am just saying that. I haven't tested the quick charging thing, so I can't talk about it. And I have a small problem with regarding charging. I'll talk about it later again. Let's talk about the next one, the loudspeaker. Well, it's really, really loud. Here is a demo. I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. All around this empty town. We're searching for the lost and found. But you don't care, you're unaware. Keep moving like the scars aren't even there It's in the air like a blazing flare Just there cause the flame And what is the buttons? I feel the buttons are pretty soft in my opinion And the feedback is good enough But here is a problem If you just hold the phone at night like this And if you just leave it you will just press the volume button Let's just assume you are watching a YouTube video like this and you are somehow holding this as the headphone jack is over here the headphones are connected I am assuming and if you just hold the phone like this as you can see the power button has been pressed and as you can see I am holding the phone like this and this the volume buttons are turned on as you can see this is the problem I was facing and talking about the display, it has a 2160p by 1080p display, well, which is really long as you can see. But when you go back to a 16 to 9 phone, this is the problem you will face. In my case, most of the time I was hunting for on screen buttons, so that's just what I experienced. So, I think all the good things that I feel about this phone, there are really little bad things, but there are. Let me talk about them. Well, I record my voiceovers with the Boya M1 microphone and I plug it in in my Redmi Note 3 and I just record it with the audio recording app by Sony. 
And here is the problem that I faced while recording with the Redmi Note 5 Pro. This is the audio which is being recorded with the Voya M1 plugged into the Redmi Note 3. This is the audio which is being recorded with the Boya M1 plugged into the Redmi Note 5 Pro. This is just to give you an idea about the sound quality. As you can see, the audio being recorded here was totally alright with the Redmi Note 3 and other devices, but with the Redmi Note 5 Pro, it's simply unusable. I am glad I did not sell my Redmi Note 3. When you plug in your charger on the phone, you will see that there is a little bit of delay. Well, what I am talking about? Here is an example. As you can see, when you plug the charger on the Redmi Note 5 Pro, the screen wakes up a tad bit later. And the last thing I would say I hate about this phone is straight MIUI. I just hate it. Why? Let me give you an example. It's running what? MIUI 9.2.6 stable as of now. And this is the latest update for this phone and the android version for this phone is 7.1.1 nougat 7.1.1 not 2 and the security patch level over here is from february it's april well this is the most popular budget phone of 2018 what are you doing Xiaomi? and yeah i can promise you that i'm gonna be doing custom rom videos for this phone too once i get my hands on the unlocked bootloader but as of now, I cannot unlock the bootloader. You can watch the video from here, which was kind of a rant about the bootloader of Xiaomi. So that's pretty much it. And I gotta say, this is the best phone as of now you can get for 14,000 million rupees. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you loved my work, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel right here. This has been Tito from Kerry and Dick signing off. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. What?